Report to you live here from Rev Escape in Scarborough after successfully completing AI Martyrdom. It's live from last week. Episode 193. Let's go! Welcome, me, my fellow G Walkers, to another episode of Laugh from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on. I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. So, coming off a night shift where the day before we went on a test drive for a car all the way near the Cayuga area, I had picked up the wife from a night shift at her hospital before post-shift heading up to my Ate Shaz to visit her and the nephew Blueberry as well as my Tito Giliar before going home to take a short one and a half hour nap then going to the local bank to get a certified check for a possible big purchase that we have lined up later on this week anyways in Saga tonight after dropping off the wife downtown for her night shift we got gifts for not just the mother-in-law but also the father-in-law in thanks for letting us use their car for the past couple of days where I'm also hoping to catch up on a little bit of lost sleep as we have lined up for us a big and busy day tomorrow So it's going to be the first time that I really do this <laughs> but because I've been so busy today, we're going to relay today's segment to tomorrow. So sorry about that guys, but the area that I was filming in last night just wasn't conducive for you guys to actually hear me. So yeah, more on our busy day. That was yesterday, a foreshadowing of the phrase of get busy i woke up early getting up after four hours of sleep at the saga house to ride the motorcycle downtown to pick up the wife after her night shift before i show off to you guys my big purchase of the day so recalling this test drive that we drove all the way to the cayuga area to see a car and to this statement that i made to you guys last week we decided to say goodbye to this car for the time being with you guys having to tune into next week's episode to find out if we bought this car or not. We have finally found a winner having this baby delivered right to our door. Thanks Louie. Dream, what is it? Dream Dreams services? Car services yes. Dreams Car Services with Louie. Thank you for Congrats. the mini. Thank you. <laughs> Fist pump. Boom. Big ups once again to Louie from Dreams Car Services. Who I'll definitely give a 5 out of 5 star review for the smoothest transaction for us to obtain our new mini. And after inviting Tito Eddie and Tito Monet to the condo. I got this reaction on video of them seeing my new car for the first time. Like my new car, Dad? Yeah. What'd I you say? No, it's a tall car. You know why? Because this was white. It's my new car. No, I don't think so. They just put it in the machine. They come out the whole thing. Done. <laughs> Ready? One, two, three. Mini! We next celebrated by going to a place that we haven't been to in a while. Going here to Hakka, number one in Scarborough, to eat and share amongst us all this delicious food for lunch. We next went to visit the site of my Lala V, doing our monthly visit to her for the month of August. Hi Lola, doing our monthly visit. Thanks for looking over us, praying for us. We'll pray for you and until next time. 
and after doing some cleaning in and around her area site, then quickly resting at home, I took the wife on our first official ride in the Mini Cooper S, naming this baby Mini Dalgi Dalgi. But anyways, before I forget, I have quick birthday and belated birthday greetings for you guys today. With the first belated birthday greeting going out to one of my childhood friends that I made when we both went to Mother Teresa. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Patricia. Happy birthday, Patricia. We also got a belated birthday greeting to one of my PVG buddies out there who I remember was the most energetic person that I have ever met. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Rico. Happy birthday, Rico. And now, on to today, I have a quick birthday shout out to one of my friends out there who I remember giving a bobblehead to for his son last year. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Yuli. Happy birthday, Yuli. And we've got a birthday greeting to one of my friends out there who you guys know I've been to sporting events with from time to time. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Jason. Happy birthday, Jay. I'm hoping that everybody had their birthdays yesterday and today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. But yeah, now recalling the concert week deal that I showed you guys earlier this year. Well, the reason that I couldn't finish my segment last night was because last night I was attending a concert at the Budweiser stage. To check out the one, the only, the legend, Sean Paul. And guys, having so much fun at this concert, where I got my 10,000 daily steps in, and was so excited to see Sean Paul in person that literally my heart was beating through its chest, we had these scenes being some of my favorites. And while we were making our way through the CNE, which we got free admission for with our concert ticket in hand, we randomly ran into a couple of friends that we haven't seen since our FSAT days. Alright, ready? One, two, three, cheese! We also had the wife and I try the famous Blooming Onion that her and I had always wanted to eat here at the CNE. Is it hot? How is it? As well as just exactly like we did last year. 
we met up with the Cousin Faye and Eduardo here on the exhibition grounds. <laughs> <laughs> Who came with us to share in the experience of the Sean Paul concert and also have some CNE waffle ice cream sandwiches? One, two, three. Purchase some more food that you can only get at the X. Born in the bag. Born in the bag. <laughs> Emily in the cup. <laughs> and also, much like the 2023 version of us going to the CNE. Go toss. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Oh, she got one. Yeah. <laughs> Win yet another prize at one of the carnival games. But now, on to today's happenings. After getting home to pass out for about four hours last night, I brought our newly named Dalgi Dalgi, aka Dalgi 2.0, to the closest service Ontario to complete her registration and my ownership. And guys, to celebrate, I might have bought her a couple of gifts that we expect to arrive within the next month. Raise the new mini car flag on this mini car antenna. And watched on TV the opening ceremonies of the 2024 Paralympic Games that are starting in France today. So firstly today, I have a quick birthday shout out to one of my childhood friends who I remember playing house league soccer with when we were younger. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Chris. Happy birthday, Kelly. I'm hoping that everybody has their birthdays today, are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So yeah guys, on to my post night shift nap earlier. Getting only about 75 minutes of rest. I was nonetheless able to be a productive Uber driver. Going to the local Scarborough Town Center to pick up the wife's order for contact lenses. And taking her to and picking her up from her physiotherapy appointment earlier today. Hello! Oh, are you okay? <laughs> And since she didn't already know that I went to Scarborough Town to pick up her order of contact lenses, I had this surprise for her in the mini. Okay, close your eyes. Okay, all right. Now oh, open it. Oh, contact lenses! <laughs> What's in it? What's in it? It's very expensive. Contact lenses. Did you know this is a thousand dollars worth of contact lenses? <laughs> wow. <laughs> She then returned that surprise by getting some royal kanji Chinese takeout for us for dinner that we graciously enjoyed while watching some live from last week episodes in the background. Then after driving the wife downtown for her night shift this evening, I did one more pickup surprise for her, obtaining this package of Aquinator rain pants up here at the North York Mountain Equipment Company Store. But anyways guys, feeling a little bit weak and tired from getting that lack of post night shift nap, I'm gonna head home and try to get a little bit of rest. And I'll just catch up with you guys again tomorrow. So guys, feeling pretty exhausted and a little bit under the weather today, and not getting enough sleep after my shift yesterday. Keeping all these things into consideration. Although I slept late, I was only able to get 
only about four and a half hours of resting. So I decided to be productive going in the mini to drive myself downtown to pick up the wife after her night shift this morning. I was also able to surprise her with the Rain Parents package that I got for her last night, as well as some chocolate covered gummy bears that we had both tried for the first time. Okay, one, one, two, three. That's so weird. Mm -hmm. What does it remind you of? I don't remember, but I've had something like this. Hmm. Interesting. Then, after dropping off the wife to go and get her nails done, I started to re-accessorize the mini, breaking out these headrest covers and some cushions that I had stored away, before picking her up once again and checking out her new nails that she just got done. Whoa. And guys, speaking of accessories, Check out this new one that we had installed into the cigarette lighter that was empty and now occupied. Then, looking at Facebook Marketplace earlier, we headed to the Ajax area to pick up the newest security device for the Mini before we joined some family at Tito Eddie and Tita Monet's place. Hey. To catch up over some dinner and celebrate the birthday girl's birthday, the birthday of Mommy Paul. Happy birthday to Mommy Paul. Happy birthday to you. Make a wish, blow, blow, blow. Woo! And while we're on the topic of birthdays, we just have a birthday shout out to one of my former classmates back during our days at Ryerson. This birthday shout out goes out to Charmaine. Happy birthday, Charmaine. I'm hoping that everybody that has their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So first of all, I want to welcome y'all to a new month. Happy September, guys! And with that, we got a quick birthday shout out to one of my family friends out there who's absolutely killing it with her short videos on reviews for local businesses in the GTA. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Christine Joy. Happy birthday, Christine Joy. I'm hoping that everybody that has their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. Anyways, last night after being exhausted and finally passing out at around 11.30 at night, guess whose body woke them up after less than three hours of sleep. So I did the only thing that I could do in the moment, went to open the laptop and work on some Laugh From Last Week videos for a bit, Doing this in the dark while also doing some research about different Mini Cooper roof racks. Some potential buys that I might do in the near future. Before being able to sleep once again for about one and a half hours. Bringing my total sleep from last night to just over four hours. Then guys, when I woke up again... I headed to the local St. Lawrence of the Martyr Catholic Church for Sunday morning Mass before preparing this feast for not only the wife, but also our guests of the night, Nika and Andrew. We then had a quick visit at the condo by the one and only Elron, who just got back from his trip to Japan before we headed to an escape room in Scarborough called Rev escape. <laughs> to attempt the escape room called AI's Martyrdom in under 80 minutes. Which had some of these fun scenes of us trying to figure out how to escape this escape room. 
No, put your legs through, Jay. Don't do hands first. So for his back. Why don't you go head Let's, first? I don't, I don't know why. Head first? Yeah, you can see where you're landing. Oh, you're going to use the back. I'm high. I'm good. Okay, you good? You're, you're already through. Like, go through, go through. <laughs> And after having to use just two clues, we were able to complete this escape room with only three minutes left on the clock. Yay! 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 Oh, there's a oh, there's <laughs> With the luck of this shirt that was given to us by Edouave. <laughs> Also winning us these pretty cool bottle openers for finishing the mission. As well, we had this blooper of us trying to shoot the opening sequence of this week's Live From Last Week episode 193. Reporting to you live here from Rubbiscape after completing the AI martyrdom, it's Live From Last Week. Episode 193. Let's go! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Next, after recalling these scenes from previous Live From Last Week episodes, we went across the street to another Crazy Bin store to check it out. When I found this surprise of a deal amongst the bins that went unclaimed, that I'm planning to gift for a friend sometime in the near future. And after copping some bargains in the afternoon here, just like we did not too long ago, we headed to the pho metro to get some late lunch, really enjoying the pho that they had served at this restaurant. We next did Andrew's ritual that he does every time he visits Scarborough, going to his aptly named Bubble City for bubble tea in the Midland and Finch area. Getting a couple of orders of BBT while we were here. Walking around the plaza before we went home to test a couple of products that we just bought. Installing this new phone holder in the Mini. Then trying out after putting together a couple of these bubble guns. <laughs> This is the this is the best five bucks we've ever spent. Woo Crazy beans! Boo 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 boo! Woo! Oh, there's the box out. Here, here, try it. <laughs> it's getting cleaned. Then after trying to distract the wife with these bubble guns while she was on a video call with Giselle. It's a filter. That's on my face. I drove Andrew and his sister to Woodbine Park to check out the annual Busker Fest here in the new Mini's first Mini Carpool, aka Mini Carpool 2.0. Woo! First Mini Carpool 2.0. Woo! So firstly, I got a quick birthday shout out to one of my cousins out there who was one of the best competitors at Ninja Hunter Bear during our times in Flip Olympics. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Tote. Happy birthday, Tots. I'm hoping that at this time, everybody has their birthdays today, are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So guys, after still feeling a little bit under the weather, only getting about five hours of sleep last night, the wife and I were just chilling in the back of the mini right before we met up with Giselle. Getting her reaction on seeing us pick her up with 
our new mini. Oh, please. Nothing changed. What happened? He got reincarnated. Taking both of them on a mini carpool 2.0 to drop them off at Pearson International Airport today so that they could catch their flight on a quick two week Asia trip. With the main event being a visit to the Philippines. Bye. But anyways, today I think I'm just gonna go back home to the condo to try to rest up from all the lack of sleep that I've had from the past week. Or maybe do something spontaneous with the mini doggy 2.0 perhaps with you guys having to tune in to next week's episode to find out. And so guys, with that, we'll wrap up this week's Laugh From Last Week episode right here. So if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Jay Walker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jay Walker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there. And we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.